is CBS 2 News at 6. It could be the key to recovery. A new bionic suit is helping stroke survivors learn to walk again. CBS 2's Alexis Christophorus went to West Orange, New Jersey to check out the new technology. Step. Des Daru is up and walking a month after having a stroke. Thanks to this wearable robot suit, the ExoGT. I feel a little relieved. I'm free. That my independence is coming back. The 30-year-old is still trying to accept what's happened to her. What went through your head when they told you this? I need to get married <laughs> <laughs> and have my kids. Uh -huh. Which you'll be doing. Which you'll be doing. Yep. The stroke left one side of her body extremely weak. Long step. Des is among a dozen stroke patients at the Kessler Foundation testing the battery-powered exoskeleton suit. A little overshifted to the left. The robot is not walking for her. Instead, when Des shifts her weight, sensors in the suit are activated, which initiates steps. The ExoGT suit helps patients take more than 300 steps in a single session. Without the suit, some patients may only be able to take about two dozen steps. Dr. Karen Nolan says getting the patient up and walking right after a stroke is key. It gives them the feeling of that left-right, left-right walking pattern to help them, their brain connect to the motion and hopefully we can get that change to stick. Des is expected to be released from Kessler this week. She's getting married in December. I'm excited for that. She'll continue outpatient therapy and says she's looking forward to walking down the aisle without any help. In West Orange, New Jersey, Alexis Christophorus, CBS 2 News. The technology has also been tested on patients with spinal cord injuries, and researchers hope to test people with traumatic brain injuries next.